I need you to grab the sign again. Oh, I just grabbed for the sign of your sign, right? <laughs> this is absolutely my favorite time of year. Are you sure some of your great photography work with us that we get to see in the publication, we see it online? We're going to start with a feature from the Falcon Cowboy Train. And it's strange as what's happening here. We're seeing wheels running, but the Cowboy Defender is kind of like looking the other way. What happened here? Well, it uh, actually broke a uh, cup of turn, I believe, and uh, it was such a bust of coverage. Uh, I don't think anyone knew what was happening. And as you can see, the uh, defensive back was looking at everybody, hey, who's going to cover this guy? Who's going to tackle this guy? And obviously it wasn't him because he was too far away. <laughs> but they are so fast. Right. It's amazing. They were trying to grab. How about this guy? Brent Brown. But he's known the guy to get more out of what he's given. He's not a big guy, but look at this. Always going to be a big play. You can always focus on Brent because he's always going to do something great. Just like uh, the other night, he came up big with the uh, interception. So I always look for Brent to do something. So I just kind of key on him. Sometimes you see a guy with the expression, hey, what happened? I didn't get the call. Matt Ryan here looking for the flag. He's not getting the flag. Right? Well, it, it could have been a uh, uh, late hit, but that's why I think uh, uh, Stubbs is looking at him like, uh, is he going to give me that hit? Is he going to give me that hit or is he going to flag me? So, uh, I just, you know, when I saw Matt's eyes, I just had to hit. Yeah. Saints and Falcons always a tough rivalry, and this pitch is kind of epitomizes what it's like whenever the Falcons play the Saints. Oh, uh, Chris Redding in this picture uh, is fighting for his life. It's never easy for a quarterback, and you can see he's not giving up. He's not going to go down easy. So, uh, big kudos to quarterback in a special situation. Sometimes if you get a chance to catch someone who you know is on the rise, you feel like something very special is going to happen in uh, uh, years ahead of time. You had a chance to get us a really nice shot of Dwight Howard during his high school days. And he went because he's not this silly anymore. Talk about where you were to get this shot of Dwight. Well, I was going to actually, uh, it was so tight on the baseline and around the side because of all the fans. I went up to the uh, indoor track over at uh, Southwest Atlanta Christian and um, got a great shot of Dwight really punching it. A dunk down. It was a beautiful uh, uh, shot, I thought. And I showed it to uh, Dwight's father. He really loved it. That's a great shot of Dwight uh, in the day he's taking high school. Another great guy, high rising. You can see a lot of effort the Hawks fans. Josh Smith, you got a pretty sketch with him. And uh, with D Wade kind of uh, running for cover here. Yeah, D Wade got out of the way on that one. I think he knew what was about to happen. When Josh gets going, he gets up in the air. There's nothing you're going to do uh, to, to, to block his shot. I was up there actually in the club level mezzanine shooting down because he is such a high rider. You want to get that kind of shot. You know, the eyes on the fence, the guys are really focused and they, they kind of know what's coming. You know, those guys actually enjoy when the guy uh, uh, plays well like that and does something really special. Now, that gives the way, it kind of gave him a whole lot of stuff on the sideline, but Dwayne gets his. Yeah, he gets literally kind of, do not worry about it. Yeah. Not worry about it. Another half we've got one here, Al Barford against Tim Duncan. That was a pole, that was a future Hall of Famer there. Oh, uh, Tim. Tim uh, caught a ball when he uh, rotated late, and uh, Al Horford was already in motion, and as you can see, emphatically, this is actually one of our, our center, center uh, posters in the magazine, and uh, people really like that shot. And thanks, Al, for some of the work you get to do here. And these same fun for the football, things like the basketball. We've got some different sports that you get to do, and one of them is boxing. I know you reach out some boxing, uh, some bushes. Talk about that and uh, the challenge for keeping that particular sport present for you. Well, boxing is, is unlike any other sport because you have to shoot from really weird angles and, um, you know, you got to get under the ropes and above the ropes and you got to just kind of shoot because you never know when it's going to happen. And I always, you know, try my best just to be in the right position and just be ready because, you, like I said, you never know when it's going to happen. And there it is right there. You have the shot and you have the position and you have all the time for this. Yeah, uh, John Shields is a genuine fighter. He really delivered a blow. This guy, uh, Antonio Davis, is uh, the GBC lightweight uh, title holder currently, and he looked away and got caught. This time of year, before he says, we got more boxing coming up in, a, in about a week. We also got football happening. How many people can get from uh, the publication where people can see it? Where you? Uh, fortunately, Club 360 is online uh, at www.club360m.com. So you can look at the uh, magazine online. Uh, it's totally free. If you have a tablet or a phone that uh, flash enables, you can see it there. Uh, also, you can download the MagSide application and download it for your iPad. So it's on the mobile environment. So okay. that's where it's. And you can buy a print copy if you want the poster. Okay. So uh, 